want to learn how to draw this adorable patriotic llama? If so, you are going to need something to draw on, something to draw your doodle with, something to erase any mistakes that you might make, and a fancy dancy marker here to outline your doodle when you are done. Grab all of those supplies, the crayons, the markers, the colored pencils, or the paint, and let's get started. started on our little 4th of July llama. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to make our paper vertical, which is tall and skinny this way, but tall this way. And we are going to grab our marker, pencil, or pen, whatever you're going to use to draw. I always draw in marker so it's easier for you to see on the camera. So right about the middle here of my page, that's where I'm going to make my llama's sunglasses. So I'm going to go ahead and do kind of like a line. I'm going to curve the edges. This is about maybe two and a half inches. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Try to keep them as close to the same as you can. Um, it's not going to be super easy, but you know, maybe if you have something sunglass shaped, or even if you have a pair of sunglasses that you want to trace, if you're working in pencil, you could do that too. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down on the sides and on the outsides here, I kind of want to go down straight and then curve. And this is maybe about two inches. So I'm going to go down on the sides here and curve. And then on the insides, I kind of want to come at a slight angle. So kind of like cop sunglasses. So I want to kind of come at a slight angle, trying to stay even with that bottom there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, they look kind of even. And then across the bottom, we are going to match them up. And you can make them more rounded. You can kind of make them however you want. Um, whatever your favorite kind of sunglass shape is. Maybe you just want circle ones. I'm going to kind of keep them in this sort of shape here. And now I'm going to double around it with my marker. I want to give the shades that nice plastic border. And I'm just going to kind of fix up some of my lines while I'm doing that and just kind of clean up my, my little shape that I've created. So there's this, make sure it's a little more rounded, you know, whatever works. So look at the difference. So now I'm going to go ahead and do that to this one over here. And I'm on the outside of my um, shape. So make sure when you do this part, if you're at the drawing stage first, and or if you're doing it in pencil first and you're not going like me in marker directly, make sure that when you do it in marker, that you do not accidentally go inside on one and outside on the other. You're gonna have two very different sized sunglasses. Each side is gonna be very different. Okay, so there are my glasses. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the line connecting them here and I came down just a little bit so it doesn't go straight across, it does come down a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a slight curve here for the bump around the nose. And I wanna to try to keep all of this nice and thick. So much thicker than the rest of my drawing is gonna be. Before I add in the rest of my llama, I'm going to go ahead and add in my decorations on my sunglasses. So over here, I'm just going to add some straight lines. Evenly spaced. I don't want them to be different. I want them to be kind of as close as they can be to being the same space. Um, same amount spaced apart. And then over here, when I add my stars, I am going to do those in a little bit different. So if you do not know how to do a star, you can do the all different corner method and then go around the outside. 
Or you can find something that's a star and trace it. I am just gonna go in and try to draw in some different size stars. Eventually, after you do the different point method, so many times you get muscle memory and you kind of just remember how to do a star, which is really kind of crazy. So definitely would practice doing stars the way that you're used to doing it. But when you outline with your marker, just try to remember how your hand moves when you outline and it kind of helps you sort of create a muscle memory and you're, you can go in and add in those stars without having to do all of the racing or the extra lines. All right, so now I'm gonna come up above my sunglasses here and I'm gonna give, I'm gonna start right here in the middle with kind of like a little poke of hair. And what I want to do is I want to go around my the top part here of my llama with some little kind of funky zigzaggy hair. And I am not going to the end of his glasses. I'm going in a little bit, not much, just enough um, that the sunglasses are fitting on his face and they're a little bit bigger than his head. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Kind of try to match it up the best you can maybe. And then same thing, kind of coming about a half an inch on that side as well. So you've got kind of that puff that the llama would have up at the top of his head. And now we're gonna go ahead and draw in his two ears. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of make, I'm gonna probably have to come in through here. I'm gonna make kind of a big rounded, curve right up here at the tip, 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 top. Kind of like a, I don't know, a bun shape, like a hot dog bun shape maybe. And then after you do that, you're gonna kind of curve in and bring it in just a little bit more. So this would be his fur, this would be the inside of his ear. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. And I'm not coming into that part, I am coming down pretty low here. Um, and I kind of have to work my way around his hair but I'm not going into the side of his face. Okay, so there's another one. And then it kind of look like minions. <laughs> All right, so now we've got the fur part of his ears and the inner part of his ears. And next, I'm gonna draw a, kind of like a very light curved line right here. And I say light, but I'm in marker. So if you're in pencil, nice light line. And I'm gonna use that to sort of create a nice dark kind of fur zigzag. So I'm not really thinking about it, I'm just kind of scribbling. And then where I made my line, I'm gonna kind of color it in up to that line. And that would just kind of be a little fur kind of in his ear. Something like that. And maybe a little bit on the other side, just to fill it in. Little scribbles, kind of like a Dr. Seuss shadow, but we'll just kind of scribble it in. Okay, so next we are going to add in the sides of his head here. So we're gonna kind of come down, kind of match up with that line we have up there. And we're just gonna kind of create a couple little zigzags and little fur lines that go down. So I don't want my zigzags to be out. I want them to kind of come down. And they can fuzz out, how, whatever makes you happy. So we have the nice fur going down on our llama. Now he needs his nose or his mouth area. So we're gonna fit that shape right in here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna curve right touching those glasses and we're gonna come down and kind of make an egg shape. Just don't finish it. So it's a little pointier up here, a little wider down here, not connected. And I'm gonna show you why. So I have the middle of my egg shape, so I'm gonna come probably at about the middle of the middle here, and I'm gonna come down. And then I'm gonna connect this line into there, and this line over here. So now I've got this shape, and then I'm gonna do a curve line at the bottom there. And kind of make another little curve in here if you want for the inner part of his mouth. So we've got his mouth. Now we're going to make his nose. And his nose is going to be kind of like a really weird heart shape. It's a very organic shape. So I'm going to kind of come out like I'm making a heart. So it's like a heart, except it's not 
a V, a tight V in the middle there. It's kind of like a really loose, wide U shape. And I will color that in black. So we've got our llama wearing his sunglasses. Now we just need to grab our crayons or markers or whatever we're gonna use to color him in. I think I'm gonna use markers on him because why not? And it's gonna be nice and bright and make my picture a little more vibrant. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my markers and let's color. I hope you had fun drawing this adorable little llama, patriotic llama with me today. I had a blast after I colored with my um, markers and my marker here, which I only used three. I then went back in with a gray crayon and just added a little bit of shadow to help give him a little more depth, um, make him look a little more realistic. I had so much fun. I hope that you have a wonderful 4th of July and I cannot wait to doodle with you again soon. Soon. Have a great day. Goodbye.